this is Big Caesar 95 and welcome to my figure review. Today I'll be reviewing one of my favourites. This is Lutz Feder, a German stormtrooper, part of the 6th Sturm Battalion. He is a DID figure released back in 2012 if I'm not mistaken. Here's a closer look at the figure. Truly a work of art. He comes with a beautifully made uniform and equipment. I love the detail in it all. I dare say this is the best German stormtrooper of his scale available out there. He retailed about 110 USD back in 2012, though nowadays you can find him around 170 or so. He represents a late war German stormtrooper, and judging by his weapon, would probably be fighting in the trenches of 1918, the last year of the war. Stormtroopers were elite troops trained in infiltration tactics, as a way to overcome the static situation caused by trench warfare. Due to the nature of their operations, they would usually be equipped with close quarter weapons like carbines and pistols, and later in the war, submachine guns. Besides guns, they would also have been equipped with grenades and melee weapons like knives and clubs. Though most nations in World War I had or used stormtrooper tactics, I'd say the German ones are the most iconic. I just want to mention that due to the age of the figure, I won't be taking off any parts of his uniform besides his weapon as the leather on a lot of his equipment has sadly deteriorated over time. However, this is quite unnoticeable and does not detract from the fact that this is truly a beautiful figure. Here we can see the front of the figure. Here you can see the back of the figure and as you can see, some of the leather has deteriorated on the backpack. Here is his mess tin and his bread bag with canteen and here is his shovel and gas mask canister. For leg wear, he comes with grey leg wraps and a black pair of ankle boots. Here is my favourite part of the figure, his beautifully made gas mask and model 1916 Stahlheim. I remember reading somewhere that German stormtroops were the first to be issued the iconic 1916 helmet. The gas mask is a late war 1917 model, if I'm not mistaken, and is truly the highlight of the figure for me. A close second would definitely be his weapon, the iconic MP18 submachine gun. He also comes with his khaki pouch and a pair of grenade bags, with grenades included, of course. Here's a better look at the weapons he comes with. He's equipped with an MP18 submachine gun with two 32 round snail magazines. He's also equipped with 8 M17 stick grenades. Here's a closer look of the head. Here's a close up of the MP18 submachine gun, beautifully made of metal and wood. Not forgetting the snail magazine. Sadly, as we can see on the sling, some of the leather here too has deteriorated. And that's the end of this review. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll be reviewing much more military figures in the future, and I hope to see you all again soon. Ciao!